Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Spoilers for General Hospital hint that Cyrus Renault just appeared in an unexpected location. The half-sister of Cyrus, Mayor Laura Collins, discovered Cyrus in Lulu Spencer's apartment at Silver Waters. As viewers are aware, Lulu has been a patient in the long-term care facility since she was injured in an explosion at the floating rib and has been there for a number of years. Since the explosion, Lulu has been unconscious, but Laura is holding on to hope that she may one day awaken. But up to this point, Lulu's health has largely stayed the same. Lulu's liver seems to be weakening, which is unfortunate since if that continues, she will pass away while unconscious. Lulu might benefit from a liver transplant, which is one reason Lucky Spencer might be going back home. However, Lucky might not be able to compete with his younger sister. Laura wasn't exactly thrilled to see Cyrus in Lulu's room, and their other brother, Nicholas Cassidine, may not be a match either. Lulu previously received bone marrow from Nicholas Cassidine. Despite Cyrus's assertions to the contrary, he was a heroin dealer who arrived to Port Charles with the sole intention of annexing Sonny Corinthos, Maurice Bernard, territory. Since Jason Morgan was Sonny's right-hand guy, he became one of Cyrus' primary targets. The explosive in the floating rib that went off in an attempt to assassinate Jason was set off by him. Thus, Cyrus bears direct responsibility for Lulu's unconscious condition. After serving time in Pentonville for his misdeeds, Cyrus was eventually sent to prison, however, a court declared that he was too weak to remain there following a significant heart attack. After being set free, Cyrus has been relentless in his attempts to persuade Laura that he has not only turned to God, but also undergone a reformation. He's only had sporadic success. Despite Cyrus's assertions to the contrary, Laura could not want him anywhere around Lulu because he is the cause of her illness. Laura might eventually consent to Cyrus's testing, and he might be a good fit for Lulu. After everything Cyrus has done, it would be ironic if he ended up saving Lulu. It would also help to permanently alter Laura's opinion of Cyrus. However, Cyrus might be endangering himself because his health isn't the best. Yeah, teasers. What are your thoughts? Can a liver transplant save Lulu's life? Who will be a better fit for their younger sister, Nicholas or Lucky? Or will Cyrus be the one to save Laura's life in the end? Keep an eye on General Hospital, which airs on ABC during the week. You never know what will happen in Port Charles. Remember to return often to our page for all of your General Hospital news, details and spoilers. Now that we know Lou Spencer's liver is failing and she may not survive, General Hospital teasers and rumors suggest that a liver donation may be her only chance. Part of a healthy liver can be donated to replace an unhealthy liver and regenerate itself, unlike other organs that require the donor to be deceased. Those who have watched the show for a long time will recall that a teenage Nicholas Cassidine donated bone marrow to save Lulu's life when she was a baby since her elder half-brother had a plastic anemia. Given that Nicholas is still incarcerated, her brother Lucky Spencer might be her only chance to be evaluated for a liver transplant. After the week of August 26, Lucky will return to Port Charles after traveling to Africa, where he and their other half-brother, Ethan Lovett, have been volunteering. After finding Charlotte Cassidine with Anna Devine's assistance, their mother, Laura Collins, would surely get in touch with Lucky and inform him of Lulu's grave prognosis. It would be challenging to organize Nicola's release from prison, even if he wished to step up. Several years have passed as Lulu has been in an undetermined coma due to a traumatic brain damage she sustained in the floating rib explosion. She talked to Dante Falconeri, who discovered her collapse after she ignored the headache symptoms for a few days. Lulu had murmured to Dante that she loved him, but he had not heard. She then passed out and has been in a comatose patient special care facility ever since. Laura has never given up faith that Lulu will awaken and resume her normal life, 
despite the fact that everything has altered so drastically. In a recent episode, Rocco Falconeri, her son with Dante, told his father about his mother and expressed the belief that she could hear him when he spoke. In the end, Rocco and Charlotte are Lulu's children. Charlotte with Valentin Cassidine and Rocco with Dante, but they are both teenagers. If saving their mother's life meant giving up a portion of their liver, either Laura or Lulu would be willing to do it. Laura might even volunteer to undergo testing to determine her compatibility, and Cyrus Renault might also make an offer given his recent visits and Bible readings. However, that may be the opportunity Lucky gets to save Lulu's life, just as his half-brother, whom he regarded as an outsider, did so many years before. Years have gone since the rivalry between him and Nicholas, and ultimately, what matters is that their sister has a chance to survive. Make sure you read up on all that Guillet has been up to lately. For news, updates, and spoilers about General Hospital, check back here frequently. There are some significant bombshells in store for Port Charles this Friday, August 23, according to General Hospital spoilers and updates. The daily preview was just made available, and it provides some really insightful information. While Jordan Ashford, Tanisha Harper, admits something significant, Marshall Ashford backs Stella Henry, and Molly Lansing Davis assigns responsibility to Christina Corinthos Davis, Lois Serralo demands the truth from Brooke Lynn Quartermain Chase. Furthermore, Dante Falconeri provides Maxie Jones with an update on Lulu Spencer. Is Lucky Spencer returning to Port Charles? Starting off on an intriguing note, the Friday, August 23 Guillet preview video features Lois and BLQ in the Home and Heart Studios. I need you to be honest with me, the mother says to her daughter. What's the deal here? Marshall tells Stella, you can't shoulder that pain alone. During their talk, which is displayed when the scenes cut between the preview. Stella has struggled to come to terms with T.J. Ashford and Molly's infant daughter's passing. Will she rely on her loved ones and friends to get through it all? Jordan is seen with Curtis Ashford in the Guy H. video teaser across town, and she exclaims, Christina and Alexis were planning to steal my son's child. Now that the secret is out, what kind of response are Christina and Alexis going to encounter? Spoilers for General Hospital. Sisterly blame. Speaking of Christina, as the Guy H preview goes on, TJ, Rick Lansing, and Christina and Molly are at the baby's burial. Molly turns to face her sister and says, This is on you, Christina, in an irate manner. It appears that there will soon be a major incident involving the Davis sisters. The Guy H preview then features a behind-the-scenes look at home, and heart with Dante and Maxi. Since Dante's presence is unusual, Miss Jones questions him about his motivation. He answers, It's Lulu. It appears that Maxi will receive an update on her best friend's health. Spoilers for General Hospital, an unidentified figure. The final scene in Friday's Guillet teaser video features a man in what appears to be some kind of prison, only his legs visible from the bottom up. He appears to be trying to break free as he staggers along with his ankles restrained by cuffs. Will Lucky's first tease be given to fans? Make sure you read up on all that Guillet has been up to lately. For news, updates, and spoilers about General Hospital, check back frequently on SOS. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.